everybody, my name is Kali McCulloch. I'm a professional cyclist with the Australian Cycling Team and I'm really excited today to be sharing with you a little bit about myself, my sport, what a day in the life of an elite athlete looks like and what I am doing during these COVID-19 restrictions. I hope you enjoy it. When I was 12 years old, I went to the Sydney Olympics with my father and watched some athletics. And up until that point, I didn't really have much of an interest in sport. But when I was leaving the Olympic Stadium and walking towards the train station to go home, my father put me on his shoulders and we were walking back towards the train station. And all I could see was a sea of heads. And the energy amongst the crowd was absolutely incredible. It was like you could actually feel it. And in that moment, I just knew that I wanted to be a part of the Olympics. I didn't know how exactly I was going to do it, but I knew at 12 years old that I wanted to be an Olympian. I was a runner, a middle distance runner, for a number of years up until the age of 17, and I was pretty successful at that. I won a few medals at the national championship, but it soon became apparent to me that I wasn't going to have quite the talent to be able to represent Australia and go to the Olympics as a runner. So my stepfather one day forced me to try the track bike. And as soon as I did a couple of laps around the velodrome, I just knew that this was it. And I participated in the training that day and I did some efforts around the track and the coach at the time um, came over to me after one of the efforts that I did and he said to me, Carly, if you had have done the same time around the track 100 metres longer, you would be an Olympic champion just like Enemy is. Now, I didn't know who Enemy is was. I didn't really know anything about track cycling, but I figured if I could beat everybody there at training that day and be pretty fast and almost as good as what it would be to be an Olympian, that maybe this could be it. Fast forward from 17 to, to now, and I have a number of not titles to my name. I've been a four times world champion, three times with Animes, and one time with my new teammate, Stephanie Morton. I am three times Commonwealth Games champion and also a silver and bronze medalist. Um, the Commonwealth Games in 2018 were definitely some of my career highlights on the Gold Coast. I won an Olympic bronze medal in London and realised my Olympic dream and went to the Olympics. And I'm a 15 times Australian champion and 20 times Oceania champion, which is uh, some of the highest uh, amount of titles that any Australian athlete has won, won in track cycling. So what is track cycling? Well, the reason why I didn't think I was going to really like it is because my bike actually has no brakes. It's a fixed gear, which means that you can't stop pedaling it. And you ride around the velodrome that's as steep as you can see in this picture here. And in a lycra skin suit, it didn't really seem that fun to me. But as I progressed through the sport, I've fallen in love even more with the different velodromes around the world that are banked up at, at about 45 degrees in the bankings and the bikes that just get faster and faster every year. There are some things that I don't like particularly about track cycling, like crashes. I've been pretty fortunate enough to not have too many crashes in my career, but as you can see here, it's a part of what we do and a part of our sport. And it's definitely one of the things about the sport that I think fans appreciate when you can see the, the tumbles and people getting really close to themselves. And um, However, like the guy in the middle of the, this picture here, as a Zilla Wang, it's often not great when you get sprinters through your calf like this poor guy. He actually went on to become the world champion the next year and went on to realise his Olympic dream as well by competing in the Rio Olympics. The events for the sprint are the sprint, which is the cat and mouse event where you often see um, somebody looking behind them for the whole of the race. And people often ask me, well, why don't you just go from the start? And the reason we don't do that is because of aerodynamics. It's actually more advantageous to be in the back position and it's also advantageous if you're on the front if you have a good acceleration like myself. There's a team sprint which for women has two competitors which is my pet event. One rider will start in a gate and the other rider will start next to them. You'll go around for one lap and um, the first rider will then swing up and the second rider will come through underneath and complete the distance. The Kieran is an event where you have six riders on the track and you're all battling for position in the first six laps. 
And then the motorbike will actually swing off. And in the last three laps, it's just a race for the line. This is the event that has the most crashes typically. So it's also one of the most exciting races to watch. And then there's the 500 metre time trial, which is exactly like the team sprint, except there's only one person on the track. And that person um, just has to go around and try and beat the clock. Now, I'm a sprinter. I am trying to get big legs like the man with the big legs in this slide here. His name's Robert Fosterman. He's from Germany and he has the biggest legs on the track cycling circuit. And then we also have the endurance riders, which you'd probably be more familiar with the Tour de France riders who often at the end of a big uh, event like the Tour de France will have legs like the other um, guy on this slide here. So I don't want the very lean um, uh, legs like like that guy, I want to try and get legs like Robert Fosterman, which is pretty impossible for me, but um, that's definitely what I'm trying to achieve with my training.